In this video, I would like to show you how you can export your data. And currently we have here these uh, shapefiles loaded. One is the original points of interest and the other one is the bigger one where we have collected all the values uh, from the content of Bern, where you can have a beer or eat something. Now we can export these values. For example, if, do you probably remember, if we have already filtered our data according to all the sites where we have uh, where we have a bar, so I select here the filter amenity should be equal to bar. I press OK and then only the bars are filtered. And now that you know that you can zoom out and in, you can also see where there are concentration of bars, so places where it's nice to go. Okay, now we have this filtered data set and you probably would like to save that or export that um, to a shapefile. To do so, you can right click here on this layer that you would like to export and select export. And then you can select here save objects as. And then you get to this export um, window. And here you have several options. One is, for example, if, you cl if I click here, you can see all these options that are available for exporting. That options that are currently most interesting for us are the S3 shape files and the, um, where is it? CSV files, the text files with comma separated values. We start with the S3 shape file. I click here. Now I have to name the file or even better, I have to click on this free dot button here to select the place where I would like to save this. I'm fine currently with this. No, I will go somewhere else. I will just go to my download folder and save it there. And then I can select, uh, no, I go up here and I select a name, which I would you like to use for saving that. So for example, bars. I can just click on save now. And you can see here now the full path is visible here and it will be saved as bars.shape but also all the other sh um, files that are necessary to complete a shape file we talked about that uh, will be saved at the same time you only see this shape shp file that is saved here now you can also select which columns should be exported usually it makes sense to export all of them but you might also like to select these and you can also specify the projection system which should be used for exporting the shape file. So you can change that. Currently, we're still in VGS, uh, WGS 84. Um, you can change that to another one. For example, here, this Pseudomarkator. Or if you want to get fancy, you can select this button here and then select something from the whole range of available uh, coordination systems. We stick to VGS84, WGS84 now. And if we now would click on OK, this shapefile would be saved and you could send that to other colleagues. What is also interesting is the option to export your data as CSV file. If I select this here, you can see now the name of the file here in the path stays the same, but it's uh, completed by the extension CSV. And um, now what's interesting, a CSV file is just a plain text file, so per se, no coordinates are saved with it. There are no, no spatial information are saved with that. If you would like to include coordinates, um, then you would have to select here from layer options, the um, line geometry. And here we can select how the um, geometry is saved as individual columns. If you select, for example, S, X, Y, then you will have one column X and one column Y, and the X and Y coordinates are saved in there. The same is true for Y, X. In that case, it's just the other way around. Then you have the option of well-known text. This is this WKT, 
we currently don't care for that. And if you would have altitude, you could also save that as X, Y, and Z. Z would um, stands for the, the altitude, the Z uh, coordinate. We only have X and Y, we just go with that. And also here, now you, it makes sense to change the uh, projection system if this is necessary, if, for example, you need these coordinates in another projection system, you can select here another one. Okay, and when we do that, I now export that here as bars.csv, and I click OK. Now we have, uh, here it says the layer is exported um, successfully. Now I can open the bars CSV with a spreadsheet software that takes some time. In my case, it's LibreOffice, so I will have here a um, dialog where I can specify the fields and I click on OK. And then you can see here the bars are exported. And here are the X and Y columns where the coordinates are saved now. Now you can process these with your spreadsheet software or with other softwares, with statistical software. Um, as you like, or have a very plain and easy to understand file format to save your data. If you like to work with this data later on in, in GIS, it might be meaningful to save the data as a shapefile because they are much easier to import and work with in the situation of a, uh, of a GIS system.